Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ghost X Gaming here, and today I'm going to be sharing a trick that I had just found out, and this is how to overclock your hard drive. Now, almost everyone who knows something about computers would think that this is impossible, but it really isn't. I recently just found out how this works, and I will explain to you right now. Now, your hard drive has a number of cores, and each core runs at a certain frequency, and we could change this, allowing your hard drive to run faster. We could also change the amount of rates per minute your hard drive runs at. We will be doing all of this in this tutorial, but first you will need to optimize your computer for this type of overclocking. And to do so, you're going to want to open up your folder icon. You will notice something called this PC. Double click local disk C. This is where a window is being housed and this is where all the main controls are. Nothing in disk D, even though that is your hard drive. Double click local disk C and you will find a folder called HDD default present x64 or x32 depending on your model of windows double click it and you will find something called induction rate.su double click that and it will show your model number copy this and after you're done copying this open up cmd run this as administrator which allows you to make changes normal cmd will not run as administrator click yes and type in SV underscore cheats one. One is basically a code for activation. Enter, it won't recognize anything, but we are just activating an algorithm which is hidden. Copy in your uh, serial number or your model number and click enter. And then type in HDD overclocking one. Okay. We have successfully optimized your computer for this type of overclocking. You may now exit out of here and we are going to change our hardware induction rate to 40,000. We're going to save this and open up our last file. This is coreinstallationspeed.su. Change your VROS intake to 300 EPS or it doesn't really matter. See, this is your core speed, and that's the number of cores your hard drive has. We can't change this, but we can change your core speed. I'm going to change this to 6.5 because I would not want to have a drastic change to my hard drive. Also, make sure that you're using a desktop and that your desktop has a lot of airflow inside. Your hard drive can suffocate, and that will cause it to literally die. If your hard drive dies, then all your information is gone and this was never worth it. You may now save this. Alright, you have successfully overclocked your hard drive and there's nothing else to really do. If you do not, if you aren't happy with the results, you can easily go back and change everything. Overall guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to see more tutorials like these, please subscribe. And since I put a lot of hard work into making this video, please like the video. Anyways guys, have a great day.